Hello guys, Ian here, and today I'm bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial, and this one is about the plugin called Ivy Generator, which I used to create. And I really should have had this open earlier, but I used it to create my J um, for my A to Z series uh, to create this kind of effect. Now it's a very good plugin and very simple to use, and it is free as well. Um, from a site which I would give you if I had internet to find it. So, obviously you want to open up Cinema 4D and you just want to create your logo or shape or whatever you want. I'm just going to use... What shall I use? I'm going to use an O just because it works quite well with O's. Um, so just make it wherever you want. Um, I might change a font. La la la. To something like. That'll do. And then I'm just going to make a couple of caps. You don't need to do this, you can do whatever you want. But it's just to get a rough shape. And I'm just going to make it as editable by pressing C but again you don't need to do this um, I just want to change it up a little bit and I'll just delete them just because I wish to thin it out a bit so it's like this okay so the first thing you want to do is go to your plugins and go to Ivy generator and you shall get this thing down here now I always keep it on the default settings here uh, just because it works well normally when you play with it it kind of mucks up quite a bit but what you want to do is kind of zoom in and kind of select a point on your object and you can see this little dot comes up and that's where it grows from then you just click grow ivy and all these blue lines appear and you can see here that it's working away. And then at any point in time you can click stop. And if you go to the birth, just click give birth. And you get all these vines and leaves suddenly growing out. And then you can repeat the process as much as you want. I might build some up the side here, so just double click again and grow, and the IV will grow from wherever you click. Sometimes it doesn't create too many and some uh, kind of wiggle off on their own, but that's fine. Um, if you don't like how it is, you can just click ungrow and do it again until you're happy. So. I'll just do a couple more down here. And one more. And I'll do another right at the bottom here. And I'll stop it there. Okay, so now you're, when you're happy with what you got, I like to add a kind of concrete material to the text. And just kind of reduce that down a bit. And if we render it, you can see it looks quite cool, but uh, the lighting's not that great. And so what I like to do is insert a target light. And I'll just put a camera here so I have the same angle. And I'm just going to, with the target light, kind of shrink it down a bit and move the target so it's actually in the center of our object. And then change the shadow to soft and the visible light to volumetric. And if we drag this below, 
now you can see we get this kind of lighting and if we go to noise and add um, noise type for both with a soft turbulence you can see now we get this kind of wavy pattern which if we um, kind of play with the brightness um, in contrast you get these really nice shapes um, giving it a bit of an atmosphere type look and to finalize it what you want to do is kind of insert another light but this one won't be visible and it won't have noise and we want to move this to about well we kind of want it behind so you want to kind of flip all the position values to negative and we're just going to um, bring it up a tiny bit and then turn down the brightness and that's just to um, give a bit of illumination to the back that's a bit too much just so you get a little bit of detail here um, but not too much and it looks like um, there's more than one light and then to finalize it you just want to add ambient inclusion and this kind of gives more natural shadows it does increase the render time quite a bit but the results are fantastic uh, it's a really good plugin and so easy to use as you can see I've done all this in six minutes um, and you can grow as much or as little as you like um, as I showed you with my jungle speed up I did quite a bit on that one and with that one as well I also used um, Trousy to kind of break up the object so it looked more cracked um, and so it kind of looked like it was kind of ruined a bit more but the detail in it's really fantastic like the materials that come with it are great um, so I'd really recommend getting it, it's a free plugin and if I remember when I upload this I shall link the um, site in the description but if not just google IV generator for Cinema 4D and it should come up almost straight away as you can see it creates these really realistic um, kind of vines and leaves and it's all kind of instantaneous as well the rendering takes a long time just because there is a lot of detail but um, the end result's really worth it so I hope this tutorial has been handy um, I know I wasn't exactly advanced but it gives you an idea of how you can use this plugin to create these really nice renders the only thing I don't know about is if you can animate the uh, kind of splines of the vines um, if anyone finds out Without that, that would be incredibly interesting to know. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.